Hello, today we are going to do something really fun. We are trying to create a um, video streaming app, a web app um, that you can create very easily. And um, before creating this project, I thought, well, it should be really hard because video streaming uh, sounds really complex. Well, it kind of is. And if you are trying to use um, the WebRTC um, package or the, let's say, the API provided by uh, the browser itself, then it will be a little bit harder because you have to deal with uh, ICE candidates and you have to make um, uh, ask for permission and you need to answer and a lot of things are there but uh, you have PRGS for that. So it is. Uh, it has uh, built a high level abstraction so that it will be very easy for us to create a peer to peer video streaming uh, web app. So for that, we need to go to the uh, website that is prgs.com and let's start the project. So I have crea created a um, a uh, new folder a new project uh, so let's just create a file so follow along let's create an index.html file um, let's write this and in the body let's write a video tag let's clear out the uh, source and uh, let's create a script file script.js and let's link it s-c-r-i-p-t script um, script um, script source mm, well I'm a little lazy uh, so I just cleared out all and uh, in opt out for the shortcut so write script the dot js and um, let's see so we also need to add this link in our html as it is uh, more or less a cdn to the package itself so let's add it in the header uh, I think we are done in the HTML file. Let's go to the script file. So um, while I'm trying to code here, um, things might seem a little strange and a little confusing, but I make sure that um, you'll understand it and uh, you sure will understand it. Okay, let's create um, a variable that is has to location dot hash uh, let's write id equals to hash dot split from hash and we'll get the second index uh, let's just print it for uh, verification uh, now we are supposed to create the peer and uh, if you get confused just look at this page and do the same so let's do, just do that pair peer equals to new peer mm, let's write id so this will be the uh, unique id for the peer let's write host um, so let's just write uh, this and let's write port uh, let's give the port of 3001 and again if you uh, feel a little confused then you can go to the PRGS uh, github repository and you can just look out uh, here so host a local host port some port and path uh, you may just write the path or not and 
uh, I suppose you can just uh, write um, slash uh, and for slash and be done with that we have created this now let's just go to the site itself and uh, so let's see so if you are trying to um, just uh, create a web app let's say uh, for messaging then you can just uh, copy this paste it and be done with that well you need to add some logic to it and you need to manage some of the functionality there but we are majorly focusing on creating a video chat app so for that uh, let's just copy this this is in the call section media calls let's go down here and this uh, let's just comment it out um, this is a call section and uh, we'll have a answer section here for that let's just go to the site again and copy the code um, they just paste the code uh, and uh, since we have two variables with the same name get users media or get user media then uh, we can just comment it out uh, now let's look at the um, logic up here so this is the call section so we get the user media so let's just not use the audio for now if you if you like to use the audio then you can just uh, come not comment it out uh, but I'm commenting it, uh, it out for now uh, because I don't need it uh, so this function uh, we can write function after it and it will have the stream from this um, peer and uh, we make a call to another ID and uh, we are going to write here to and we will make that clear uh, soon enough so this is the stream uh, that is from the function here so we are passing out the stream to something that answers um, so there is that and um, call dot on will not be used in this section because we are making a call we are trying to send the stream up there uh, we are not trying to uh, reach uh, or get the stream from uh, any remote server or uh, any remote stream uh, if you'd like that you can just do that Mm, I think I'll make the code understandable enough that you can just um, play with the code yourself uh, according to your need so in this video um, streaming app only one camera will be used which will stream the video to another client uh, which uh, will not need uh, their camera anyways but uh, I guess that the camera will be on anyways okay uh, so call dot on stream means uh, if you have used uh, socket.io then you know that uh, this means that uh, taking the example of client and server it is just an example that I'm trying to uh, use to make you clear so if any server uh, emits a, uh, let's say a action that is name of stream then we act upon it with dot on if you like to emit that then that will be dot emit but uh, in PRGS uh, it is uh, just simply dot and some function so we are calling here and we are not trying to stream up in this peer so we will not use this but you can comment it out or anything but uh, we are not going to do anything with that so what we did edit it to here so uh, edit in your code too and uh, we have peer dot on call so if we get the call then we have the call here in the function um, then uh, we have the video and audio we are not going to stream there anyways so it doesn't matter if you comment it out or not so we have the function the stream and we answer to the call so call dot on stream function we have the remote stream 
um, so this is from here so if you are, uh, we are writing here call pure dot call to so uh, this two will be the identifier for this peer but this peer can have any other ID, uh, ID so that is uh, separated in here and that comes from here from location that has and we are splitting to the last index um, in this case that is one uh, okay so here in the answering function uh, we are supposed to um, uh, stream this in our uh, in the clients uh, or the peer that has uh, ID two, and we are supposed to play the video. So for that, we need to inject that video in this video tag. Uh, so for that, let's just get the video uh, video tag, and let's just give the name video element. Mm document dot query selector video um, and uh, let's go down here where we are answering so video element dot src object equals to remote stream we get the stream and uh, let's play it and uh, we are not done here so more or less the code is finished but we are so also supposed to uh, install prjs and we are not supposed to inst install uh, locally so just write npm i that is install g dash g that is global and uh, write peer js and hit enter so i have already installed peer js so i wouldn't need to do that but i will hit enter anyways okay so um let's wait okay we are done uh after that uh so you might be confused well we have a port here 3001 and uh, so what is this doing uh, a port so that is the port that we are going to run our prgs server on so let's write prgs port that is 3001 let's run it and now it's done for our HTML file. Okay, so the camera is on now. Let's copy it. I don't know if it will work on the first try or not, but let's hope for the best. Is it working just fine? Yeah, so you can see that uh, it is in the So this is um, has to and uh, let's inspect in it. So let's see what is the ID up here. So the ID is two. So we are trying. We were trying to stream the data to um, ID two that we did here, but we are not trying to display anything uh, up here because um, in reality the video is streaming from this pair and um, we are playing the stream in this uh, tab so if you are trying to use multiple devices uh, let's say this is your mobile and this is the laptop where the video can be uh, seen or is visible so there is that okay so the code is running just fine and uh, i think you have already understood what the hash is so Location that has is uh, so I have uh, written here after the end of the file I have written has and uh, uncertain number so that will be the location that has um, and uh, we split it 
from hash so that will be hash and one and we took one from that array so that will be more this like uh, that will be hash okay and uh, two so we took the two and we put it in the ID and that is the unique identifier there so uh, most of the video would end up here saying that this is the way you do video streaming uh, and uh, that is not all because if you're trying to uh, stream the video from uh, let's say external devices uh, let's say mobile and to the laptop maybe this is the laptop and this is the mobile then um, then this is not just the way how you do that because you need to understand that uh, the API, the browser API that we are using here, Get User Media, does not work uh, across multiple devices if we are uh, if we are using unsecured uh, connection. So this is a HTTP uh, connection. So I have to all um, again repeat uh, that the video is already done if you are not trying to stream it in multiple devices uh, let's say mobile or even multiple browsers it won't work if you are running it in http mode so if you are trying to run it and if you are trying to use it in multiple devices then you are going to uh, need to run in https format so for that i'll give you a quick rundown if you like to do that you can do that but if you're just testing it uh, you can just uh, play along and for that, uh, I would say that let's just um, clear this. So, so you need to um, install Choco first. Okay. So you need to install Choco in your system. Uh, where is it? Okay. So let's go here. So there are a lot of ways that you can install uh, Choco in your system. Uh, you can just Google that out. Uh, and the thing um, Choco is um, important for installing us. Another thing um, that is mk sort mk sort so we are supposed to install mk sort for creating a certificate so you have probably you have a uh, heard about ssl certificate so you are supposed to create ssl certificate and uh, mind that mk sort only produces certificate for the testing purposes only because it will not be real secure secure uh, so it is more or less a um, camouflage, uh, let's say, of uh, HTTPS, um, just uh, showing it as HTTPS, but uh, really won't be secure. So uh, you create a certificate and it will create. So just um, install mkstart after installing Choco. Okay. Mm, uh, and uh, uh, after that, uh, you copy this and paste it in your uh, let's say CMD and this is the port you, you need to uh, um, be clear about because uh, this is the port for which you are trying to create the certificate for so in this uh, case you are trying uh, supposed to write 5500 5500 5, I'm trying to return repeat it because uh, um, I need to make it clear for now so just uh, copy this and uh, replace one with 5500 and uh, in the folder same folder where you have um, uh, let's say copied this command and paste there so in the same folder the two files will be created that are example com dot five and example coms key dot pm uh, so just check your system uh, if you is your dell laptop then check in the users dell 
uh, what is that uh, folder uh, or acer and or anything just check in that folder mm. so for example so here see here so if you run this run this command up here so you, you can see that we are in the Dell folder so check in the Dell folder and two files will be created after uh, and still we are not finished here so you need to still install uh, in, uh, install mm, well uh, what is it so it is nginx so you need to install nginx uh, well it will get a little complex uh, by now but uh, I will also give you a shortcut here so if you're trying uh, if you think that it is a little um, a lot to take uh, then uh, for that you can just opt out for the node.js uh, um, way and you can just create a HTTPS uh, server and uh, solve the static file of HTTP, uh, HTML you can do that but uh, just look at the uh, site and install nginx well, let's go there anyways okay nginx install product well this wasn't supposed to be a little confusing here yeah? let's write and install nginx for windows go here and uh, where is it come on go to downloads download and install this and after installing that um, extract the file zip file and uh, let's go there uh, I mean downloads uh, let's go to nginx after extracting this go to this file and um, just go to conf open nginx.cunf uh, edit this with notepad plus plus or notepad uh, whatever you do that will just fine and uh, go to the last and just comment um, just remove the hash from uh, below the server section and after that just um, pause the video and write the same thing everywhere except this here except this means uh, just write the location where you have stored the uh, the what do you say SSL certificate and uh, again paste the folder where you have stored the key dot pem file and everything will be same here uh, except here so this means uh, where you have stored your um, uh, the program or the project um, well I was checking for another project for this case um, okay just uh, go to the VS code and uh, right click here copy path here and uh, go to here and paste here and you will be good to good to go so this will be the folder name that is the um, project of yours the name you give to your project folder and uh, everything is everything should be just same and uh, you are good to go here and for running and this is the last step uh, I promise so just go here and write cmd in here uh, write start engine x uh, click uh, sorry hit enter and uh, you should be just fine so this is the extra thing that I wanted to tell you uh, if I did everything then this video probably will be 
a little um, longer uh, that you might not uh, want all of that if you do I think you can figure that out after all the instructions that I gave so this is all the thing that we are supposed to do in this video we have created a video streaming um, uh, let's say web app and uh, we have um, successfully executed it and uh, I think that's great you know it worked at the very first try so yeah it is still working and it will work surely so if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel and I really need um, people to supporting this channel and um, if you do that I would really appreciate um, that so thank you for watching and we'll meet again bye